Hi, this is Emma, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. Recently I was contacted by one of my subscribers, who had a very interesting link to share with me. I wish to thank them very much for sharing this with me, for it is a very impressive find. The link is in regards to the pictures NASA released in early July 2016, citing the fact that the Hubble telescope has now captured amazing pictures of blue vibrant auroras in Jupiter's atmosphere. This picture, is taken from NASA's website. All links will be placed in the description. Note, that maybe these links may be edited by NASA after the fact, but at the moment of this video, this information is how I have investigated it, and how it exists now. Have a good look at the picture. To me, the amazing auroras that NASA is talking about, seem to not match the image. And under more closer inspection, they don't match for a reason. Why, you might say? Well, because this picture, that is the picture that is captioned, right now, as seen in the photo, which NASA states is an official image, is none other, than an image of not Jupiter in 2016 but a picture of Jupiter in 2014. That is a picture, published two years before by NASA. As you can see here, have a look. A good look. Note the fact that this is a NASA website. Note the date that this picture was released. Well, you might say, what evidence do you have that they are the same image? Well, let's compare them side by side. Have a good look at both of them. They match completely. That is, the new image NASA said they have taken, and the 2014 image that NASA says it has taken. They match exactly. The only difference, is one has an amazing blue aurora, and the other does not. Plus, so very light filtering on one image. Well, you might ask, at this point, that maybe just looked the same, at the time both photos were taken. To which I would say, that this, cannot happen. For those swirls you see, are in fact storm clouds. The chances are that both images match in the exact same way are astronomical. So we can only conclude that they are the same image. That is, the same image which just a blue effect placed on one of the images. Since, this is what Jupiter really looks like. Or at least, according to NASA's official video. Look at the swirling clouds. But let's go back to the image in question. And have a look at it with a few photographic filters. And let's see what happens when we adjust the brightness and contrast on the image. Take a look at what we get. Do you see that? That's right. The side of the planet has a rough curve on one side, that is the side in darkness. And a smooth curve on the other side. What does this mean? Well, it means, this image has been photoshopped. This effect does not occur in normal images of anything round, with a light source on it. So you might ask? Why is NASA faking images of photos of Jupiter? And why are they releasing doctored images of missions they say they have gone on? Why give us a fake image, if they say they have captured this with the Hubble Space Telescope? Take a look at this other small video I done on NASA using CGI in the International Space Station. And maybe it will show you, that this is not the first time. This is an official video released by NASA. Let's take a look. Did you see anything strange? Have a closer look and see if you can spot the anomaly.
Did you catch that? If you did, you have good eyes. But if you didn't, let me point it out to you. Have a close look as the astronaut goes off camera. Just as he leaves the scene. That's right, his body starts to fade. That is, just as he is about to go around the corner. It is almost like the video editor, put what is called a dissolve too soon, but patched the image into the green screen too late. So that the astronaut footage fades before it is out of frame. This effect I have never seen before in real footage. All the footage should match, especially in HD quality. So either the astronaut has some kind of special powers of invisibility that none of us else do, or the footage is really being filmed somewhere else, and then spliced together. This begs the question, as why someone would fake such footage? But maybe a better question is, are they really in space at all? At least in a working space station? Or have they just got an empty shell in orbit, and film all their footage on the ground? It is really unknown. This photo was taken by Apollo 15 at what is called the ILSEP site or Station 5. Looks good enough. We can see the lander in the photograph. An astronaut was behind the lens and took this photograph. All seems well. But there is something very strange if we look closer. And we only see it, when we look at another Apollo 15 photograph. Let's take a look at what we will call, the second photograph. This photograph was taken at Station 9, called Hadley Rill Location. That is 1.4 kilometers west from the lunar module. Or 1.4 kilometers west of the location of the first photograph. Have a close look. See if you can spot what is in both photographs. Do you see it? Maybe it will help if I put both photographs beside each other. Now take a look. Do you see it now? That's right. The backgrounds are identical. In fact, if we superimpose one over top of the other, they match completely. Not only that, but the lunar module is gone from one photograph. So even if they logged the same photo by mistake as different locations, then there would be no one to take the photo because there is no lunar module. This excludes, any logging or simple photo tagging errors by NASA. Since, the lunar module cannot be moved. It lands, and then takes off from the same location. The evidence shows, without a shadow of a doubt, that the same backdrop was used. That is, a backdrop on a film stage. This was taken on Apollo 17. Links to all pictures will be in the description. These images have now been cropped by NASA on their website, only offering the view of the hills themselves. There are non-cropped images however that still exist. These examples were taken from the Richard D. Hall documentary, Apollo Conspiracy. This, I believe, is the smoking gun. Take a look at what we will call image 3. Look at the background. Now look at image 4. And have a look at the background. One has the lunar module in it, the other does not. So if they are the same location, then who is taking the photo? Since if there is no lunar module, then there is no way the astronauts could be in this location. So, what does all this mean? What do you think is happening? Do you think that NASA is faking everything? Or do you think that these are just all very strange anomalies? Whatever the case, make sure you, stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective, to keep up to date with the strange and unusual. And please give a thumbs up, if you liked the video. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time. The Eagle has landed. Jesus Christ. Houston. We're on the fucking boat. Over. Roger, Tranquility. We copy that. We cannot believe you are on the fucking boat. Repeat, cannot fucking believe it. Over.